Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod, and you may recall a few videos ago we did a f original series Federation fleet versus a superior future Romulan invasion force of the Derex class Warbirds. Well, I was I thought it'd be kind of neat to try to follow that up. So let's say the Romulans have uh, infiltrated the system, they've built some strong points, and the Federation wants to push them out. So the Federation, after their last defeat, has amassed a force of 20 Federation starships. And the sector that they are attacking is relatively undefended. At least the bulk of the Romulan fleet is not there compared to how it was last time. We are only fighting, let's see. We have eight Romulan Derex Warbirds and two Tal Shiar Warbirds plus a Romulan Starbase up against a well, three Miranda class ships, two Federation class dreadnoughts, two Proxima class ships. Three Saladins, a Constitution, another Constitution, a couple more Mirandas, uh, three more Constitutions, and of course we have our three ships here, the Miranda class, Constitution class, and the Oberth class Britannic refit, because it looks really neat with these three photon torpedo tubes in the back, and I'm assuming also three in the front, so there's this huge weapons array up there. And that should prove to be useful in this encounter, since we will most likely have to shoot things. Let's take back our territory. Also, new videos on Space Engineers and Star Trek Bridge Crew will be coming soon. I have not forgotten about them, but I wanted to try this scenario out first. So in the coming days, there will be more videos. Pro I think I might do uh, Space Engineers first, and then the next video I do that isn't Legacy will probably be Star Trek Bridge Crew. Because there's some really cool things that I've discovered in uh, Space Engineers that I really want to show you guys. There is the Romulan Starbase, Starbase 34, and I'm assuming the Romulan ships just warped that way. Let's select all of our ships. Oh, good. They are all selected. Let's warp to here. Now, I think I actually have done a scenario like this before. Maybe it even was original series versus Romulan vessels, but in that case, it's so much fun that I'm doing it twice. I don't remember doing it, but it looks slightly familiar. And I think, I think I'm going to enjoy it. So let's, let's see about targeting, ah, this ship. Yes, let's not head towards the Romulan Starbase because that would not benefit us in any way. Why are they still heading them? Okay. All right. You would stand against us? You invite your doom. Looks like we have ships right by the Romulan vessel over there. But they're not showing up as being near them on the tactical screen. We have lost the shields on the Miranda class. The phaser banks are firing, though. Starboard nacelle has been cut loose. Looks like the USS Vindicator is uh, about to lose structural integrity. Torpedoes are away. The Dederix has lost their shields. I think our engine systems are almost completely gone. Full remaining power to the weapons. All hands abandon ship. Get off. Go away. This is, this is no longer safe. We're losing containment. The port nacelle is gone. We are just a flying saucer, and now there's nothing left. Constitution class is here. It's the USS Constitution, NCC 700. Full power has been diverted to the shielding systems. Hopefully, that will provide some sort of defense against these futuristic weapons the Romulans are using against us. Okay, when I set up this battle, I did not think it would be that difficult, you know? It's 10 Romulan ships versus 20 Federation starships. Those are pretty good odds. But I, once again, have underestimated the power of Romulan weaponry. Even with full power to virtue our shield systems, they are not holding up against Romulan disruptors. The Oberth class, the Britannic refit, the one that looks like it's made for combat, specifically has also taken damage. It looks like they will actually no, it doesn't look like it. Their shields are definitely offline. They have taken hull damage. Our shields are at 50%, probably 30 or 40% now. And there is some lag. I'm not sure what's causing it. What ship is the culprit? It could be the Taushiar Warbirds. It could be some of the Dederdixes. It could even be, I don't know, the Mirandas. I, I really am not sure. Let's switch to the Britannic refit before it disappears in a fiery mess. 
Oh. That explains where the rest of my fleet went. Let's switch to the Constitution class. I'm going to warp towards the Romulan Star Base because that is where the bulk of the Federation Armada went, and that's why we have no support over here. So let's see about helping these guys out, taking on the Star Base. Incoming torpedoes. The USS Constitution has definitely seen better days than this. Uh, let, let's not head towards the Romulan Warbirds. That is a stupid thing to do. Let's head this way. Yes. Take out their forward operations base in the sector. And we disrupt all their troop movements. Come on. Now the only issue is once that thing explodes... Is it going to take out our whole fleet with it? Uh oh. Oh no, they did make it. And our shields have once again gone up, so now the fleets are free to engage the Romulan vessels and they will not be distracted by the Starbase. <coughs> Excuse me there. Uh, I think they're focused specifically on this vessel. Just this vessel. All of their anger and hatred is being forced onto the USS Constitution. So let's warp right through them and take on the Bracken. Weapons are firing, but I think... Yes, it is over for the Constitution. We were no match for their weapon systems. Let's turn around. Come on. Those Romulan ships are durable little things. Watch, they're not so little. We're the little things. We're, we're like the size of Romulan shuttlecraft. Not really, but it seems like it when we're right next to them. They're monstrous. All right, let's switch to the tactical screen because I can't handle that lag. Where is the fleet? It is over here. There's, we still have a sizable force. And they just lost the Bracken. So I think that's what, the, what that one was. Let's continue in our quest for a, uh, well, for a victory. This Oberth could be causing lag as well. Uh, the shields are down on the Duran. Oh man, the the lag. I think it could be the Oberth, because I know I've not used the Oberth that much in the past, and in those battles it has performed, well the, the game has performed admirably with very little, little lag. So I think it is this ship that is causing problems. We will know once it is destroyed. Now the difference between this battle and the last battle is that even though we have less ships, we have better ships like Proxima class vessels and Federation class dreadnoughts. We have we have two of them. We have two of each. So we have two of these and two Proximas. At least we did have two Proximas. I don't know if we still do. Oh, look at those phasers. That's what I'm talking about. When the phasers fire for a long period of time. Look at that. It's draining so slowly. You know you know what else is draining? Our hull. Our hull is being slowly destroyed. This is devastating for the Federation. We are... There's no way we can win this. I really thought we had a chance. I honestly thought that we would win. Oh, the USS Star League. Huh. I really thought we would win. I, I was debating adding even more Romulan vessels. Well, another bird of prey was destroyed. Come on. 
We have a Constitution class over there, the Hood. And there's Proxima class, the Bismarck. Let's switch to the... Okay, let's switch to this one. Oh, another Nebula class. Not Nebula class. Wow, am I confused. The Miranda class. Although, if you think about it, this kind of is the Nebula class of, uh... of the 23rd century. Saucer on top, warp the cells below. Or, it, you could just say it's a Miranda class, because those also existed in the 24th century. So, yeah, I'm just... I'm just having one of those special moments. There's no way we can win this. Did that torpedo launch sideways? I do believe that it did. Come on. We may be able to take out a couple more of their vessels before our fleet is overwhelmed. Uh, our first Federation class dreadnought is taking a lot of hits, and that's partially because it's repairing itself. You know, I didn't bother to turn off the repairs, but when the vessels repair themselves in this game, one of the interesting features is that it actually drains power. At least that's what I've noticed. It tends to deplete their energy reserves. Their shields recharge more slowly. Their weapons don't recharge as, as fast. So it really is like a, it can help you, but it's also a hindrance. It's very inconvenient when trying to repair during battle. That's why I tend to warp away and repair my ships. But am I going to warp away from the Romulans? No. We have to do everything we can, as quickly as we can, to at least slow down the Romulan advance. Now, we have taken out their base of operations, so that really has thrown them into, into disarray. But I, I don't know how many more Romans are going to show up. Who knows? This video may con... Not, not this video, but this video series may continue. How did the Romans even get here in the first place? I don't know. Maybe they came through the Bajoran wormhole. Somehow. I, I mean, even though that leads to the, the Gamma Quadrant. It doesn't really lead to a different time frame. But anything can happen in Star Trek. Okay, this Federation class is performing admirably. I I'm impressed. The USS Federation, the very own namesake. I've noticed that vessels that are like the the first of their class <clears throat> and in 00, like the USS Constitution, Constitution class, 1700 Federation, 2100. I may have said 1200 before, I'm not sure. But yeah, 2100. Ends in double zeros. Um, we have lost all of our command vessels. I mean, I know we lost them before, but we, we were issued new ones when those were destroyed, and now all of those are gone except for this Federation class. Let's try to avoid this explosion. Okay, we still have quite a few Romulan vessels running around. Do we have any more regular Constitution class starships? Oh. Well, we did. Not anymore. Oh, wait. Yes, there is one. The Excalibur. Wasn't the Excalibur destroyed by the M5? I think I think it, it was. Or at least there was a complete loss of life. I don't know if this is before that or after that. Ah, Tal Shiar Warburton. This is one of the more dangerous Romulan warships. Not as dangerous as the Narada, though. Which, maybe we should have that show up at some point. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Tau Shar Warbird is more dangerous than the Narada, at least using the Ultimate Universe mod. In the non-modded version, the Narada really could hold its own against a fleet of uh, next-generation ships, but with the mod, not so much. That's why you don't see me use it that often to fight against it, because it's just... it's, it's lacking in deadliness. And these Tadaradixes and Tau Shar Warbirds, on the other hand, are something else. These, these are nightmares. Not sure if I like the uh, pulse phasers firing all the time on this. I prefer. I think the beam phasers do a little bit more damage, so I think I prefer those. I could be completely wrong, though. It could be the pulse phasers do the same damage. It just looks different. I'm really not sure. I haven't compared the two. I have to admit, that does look neat. Alright, let's do this. One noticeable 
change in this design compared to the Constitution class, other than, you know, a different hull, a different secondary hull and the third um, warp nacelle, is the primary saucer section, the, the primary hull. If you look at the top and bottom, they're exactly the same. They have that same full power to the shields. Let's warp out of here. There's a chain reaction happening. There's that same slow curve to it, and it's completely smooth, whereas on the Constitution class, there's a little module on top of the bridges. And, I mean, you can see it here, too, but it's much smaller. There's a much larger spot on the regular Constitution class that is raised up away from the primary saucer section. And you, you can tell that if you look at the, at the uh, design. But here, it's just one smooth section up until the bridge. Now we have, what, five warbirds still left over? I mean, five? Okay, we, we've got half of the uh, enemy ships. That's not great since we had twice as many vessels to begin with. Um, but looks like the Deterovic... No. Yeah, the Deterovic is the most heavily damaged Romulan vessel, so I'll put all part of my weapon systems and open fire on that. See just how much damage I can do before I am destroyed. Not much. Not doing that much. Let's put, let's put ourselves to half speed. So we're not gonna catch up on them too quickly, but we also have plenty of maneuverability. Uh, the Bismarck is in trouble. We still have the... Paganius? Oh, no. Pisanius. Yeah, I can read. The Truntus, the... the Teravik, the Dasoria, and the Lubato. Oh, look at that. It froze right when those torpedoes hit, so it could be the Proxima class. It's causing lag. Look at that. Let's not look at the Proxima class. Or actually, once it's destroyed, we'll, we'll know for sure if that was truly causing the lag that we saw. Or if it's these Romulan vessels. Oh, it wasn't destroyed, it just lost... <laughs> it just lost some warp nacelles. I see. Uh, let's go full speed. Actually, no, scratch that. One, one quarter speed. Slow ahead. Diverting power to weapons, Captain. Diverting power to weapons, Captain. Let's get full power to weapons. Come on. Okay, full power is now two weapons. I feel really sorry for those aboard the Bismarck. They gotta, they gotta get out of there. There's nothing left. It's a drift completely. Well, full power shields. That's what time it is. It's full power shields time. It is just the USS Federation. The flagship of the entire organization that is standing between the Ronins and, well, control of this sector. And I think I'm gonna have to give it to the Romulans at this point. Come on. Oh, we may destroy this Romulan Tal Shiar Warbird. I think so. Yes, warping now. Sensors report enemy vessel. Initiating warp. The Truntus is next on my list of things that I'm going to hopelessly fire at. And somehow think it'll make a difference. Come on. We are losing the shields. We do have full power to the shielding systems, but I don't know if it's enough. Torpedoes are way. So there's some solid hits. Let's get the aft torpedo launchers online. There we go. There's two. The shields are still... Reinforcing themselves, so yeah, they're going back up. Oh well, never mind. We have Romulan disruptors on, on our tail. We can't absorb that kind of firepower. Come on, let's continue forwards. 
this brave, hopeless battle. I really don't know what I was trying to say there. I was trying to think of something inspirational, and then uh, the, the English language just failed me. I think we'll be able to destroy- maybe we can win! Maybe- it might, it might take ten more minutes, but maybe we can win. Maybe they can't take out our shields. I'm not sure. Maybe luck is on our side. Keep on them. I know our power isn't all to our weapons. Ah, uh, their shields are back up. Our power isn't all to our we weapon systems. But they are still working relatively well, so... Let's hope it's enough. I'll admit, our hull is looking rather weak. It's, it's getting compromised, and our systems are beginning to lose their efficiency because they are getting damaged as well. Uh, no, ooh! He flew right into that. Uh, but it's not going to take him out. Okay, what is it, just two warbirds left? No, three. I can't count. Oh, they're right on top of each other. Well, let's distract one of them. Let's go this way. Maybe we can separate. No, they are exactly in sync with one another. It's some precision formation flying. There is no escape for you. Incoming torpedoes. Ah, their shields are lowered. We have them now. Maybe. Perhaps not. Incoming disruptor fire. Let's also show this guy that we, we mean business. No, that could have been a very bad mistake. Oh, we took their shields out. Very impressive. I, I have to say I'm shocked by the performance of this Federation class. It is, it is doing very well for a ship as outdated as it is. Then again, as we all know, these vessels... Or not vessels. These battles don't go that realistically. Since uh, this is a versus armada battle, like some of the custom missions I set up, it tends to put the enemy ships on easy AI, so they're easy to defeat, and the weapons don't do as much damage. So if this was realistic, I think one to Derek could have blasted half of our fleet out of the sky. There is no escape for you. Our shields can't take any more hits. Let's warp away for another second. Get everything all focused up again. That could have been a mistake, because now, yep, their disruptors can fire. I'm at perfect, I'm at their optimal disruption range. Stay with them. Victory could be ours. And I'm sure I'll say the same thing in, a, in another, like, five minutes. We do have a minor problem, other than the fact that, uh, our Brassard Collectors and our, uh, Center and Starboard and Cell are destroyed. And our hull is almost gone. Uh, that problem being we only have ten? Nope, make that nine photon torpedoes left. You're clearly outmatched. Engine's damage. 
but we might as well use them while the enemy shields down. But not if they're up. I have to remember that. Oh, we did break their formation flying. Didn't even notice. swing around again. Our engines are not very responsive. The your that would be why. Neither are our shields. Weapon system damaged. Come on, all phaser banks fire. Please. She can't take much more of this I get the feeling life support is failing all over the ship. Now would be a good time to possibly evacuate. They only have two photons left. Let's actually let's see about firing those. Come on, take out his shields and. Two photons away. Perfect. Alright, continue firing on this one. We have used all of our photon torpedoes. Our hull is going critical. We have inflicted tremendous damage on the enemy, though. Oh, well, this could be the end of us. Oh, no. We survived those torpedoes. What about this one? That one as well. I mean, our shields are helping us. If our shields were down, those would have taken us out. But our shields aren't exactly at full strength either, so... A any shot could take us out now. The hull is gone, yep. We have failed the mission. The Romulans are successful, and these vessels can continue to communicate with the rest of their fleet and possibly bring reinforcements, so we will see what happens with that. But in the meantime, let's come on, let's, let's skip past the scene here. Come on, come on, let's get to the end. Okay, that battle... Wow, that battle took just over 25 minutes. We lost our entire fleet, but my vessels were responsible. My command ships were responsible for the destruction of six enemy vessels. And at the end, the Romulans only had three Romulan warbirds. I guess you can count them. I'm not sure if any Tal Shiar vessels were there, but I'm going to count them as warbirds. They only had three Romulan warbirds left, so we did a lot of damage. Uh, so that was a... That was still an incredible loss for the Federation, but it was not... Um, all for not. It, it, it accomplished something. It wasn't in vain. So if you guys enjoyed this battle between the original series Federation and the next generation Romulan fleet, well then please be sure to leave the video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more Star Trek Legacy, well then please subscribe because there is always more Star Trek Legacy on this channel. Now, if for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy the video, I do apologize for that, and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how I can better improve the quality of the next videos that I produce, so then hopefully you guys will find some entertainment in watching them. And, as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, well then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that, and I will read through the suggestions and ideas, and I will do my best to use those recommendations in my future videos. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time. <laughs>